After discussing various questions which are based on conclusions, let us now take the second model from syllogisms which is based on possibilities. Here, as we can see a set of statements and conclusions are given to you where the conclusions are actually in terms of possibility and we are supposed to find out which of these possibility follow the given statements. Now as already discussed, a possibility is something which should satisfy at least one of the given Venn diagrams. The statements here are some papers are boards and no board is a card and the given conclusions are all cards being papers is a possibility and the second conclusion is all boards being papers is a possibility. Let me draw your attention to one point here. He is talking about possibilities. So very clearly we just need to prove whether all cards can be papers and we just need to prove whether all boards can be papers or not. Let us first draw the basic diagram for the given statements. Now some papers or boards can be taken as follows. Papers and boards. So as you can see here there is an overlapping which shows some papers are boards. And the second statement is no board is a card. So no board is a card can be shown as given here. So we can see that there is no overlapping between boards and cards. But remember friends there are various possible ways of drawing the Venn diagrams for these given statements. Now instead of checking from various diagrams let us look at the given conclusion which is in terms of possibility and understand that can we draw a diagram for such a possibility or not. For example the first one is all cards being papers is a possibility. So as you can see here we just need to check whether all cards can be papers or not. Now if you go by the statements here we know that no board is a card. So as per the basic diagram cards have been represented as shown here but it is also possible that we can take all the cards inside the papers. So here we find that all the cards are papers as they are completely inside the papers and it also follows the given statements. So from this we can say that all cards being papers is possible. Let me mention the same point again possibility is something which should be true in at least one of the diagrams and here with this red cards we can show that all cards can be papers. So conclusion number one is true. Let us now look at the second conclusion all boards being papers is a possibility. So we need to find out whether all boards can be papers or not. Now if you look at the given statement here some papers are boards. Now if we try to draw papers and boards as shown here these are the papers and the same circle represents the boards. Remember we have learned that the second diagram which is possible for some A's are B's is as shown here where all the A's are B's or all the papers are boards as they are represented by the same circle. The point which we need to recollect here is that sum starts from at least one and it goes up to all. So instead of saying some papers are boards I can say all the papers are boards. And now the second statement is no board is a card. So no board is a card. Now if you try to look at this diagram we find that all boards being papers is possible. Why? Because all the boards are papers. So we can say that even conclusion number two is true because it follows this diagram here. So this is how we just need to find out at least one diagram which can prove that the given possibilities follow the given statements. So after taking this example we can understand that the basic difference between conclusion and a possibility is that a conclusion should be true in all the various possible cases whereas a possibility may be true in at least one of the cases. So when it comes to possibility we should be able to draw at least one diagram which can show that the given possibility follows the given statements.